ladies and gentlemen, to does play Gold Coast Land. We have the faction up against Aftermath. It's currently 1-1 in maps. The faction, a convincing win there on the hard point, but almost equally convincing in the S&D for Aftermath. Yeah, very good play from Arthur. Uh, very good S&D plays from Master Aftermath. As you saw, that last round was a whitewash. It was just all four down straight away in the first, I believe, 20 or 30 seconds for TF, and... They were running away with that towards the end, so 1-1 one, one in the series now going into this, and yeah, it seems pretty even at the moment. Um, TF got Dome Control pushing up onto AM's flag. They're going to actually pick that out, but Swift is going to get down, drop by Lakey, and then we'll drop dead, drop by Lakey as well, and Nimble picks up one, that's a three down against TF. Swift spawns up, running towards, uh, rotating towards this flag, trying to pick off anyone. Yeah, just for, yeah, just for those who don't know, I'm Lock Dog, and joining me is Vanish for the first time here on uh, at the Dust Play LAN. Uh, we, as we said, we've seen uh, Swifty grab that flag. He's five and one, but he hasn't really been able to do a lot with it. He just got taken down pretty much as soon as he got it. Instantaneously. Really, uh, the aftermath rotations back towards their flag, very very strong. They're on board with flares. He's got the flag. He's going to run it up through dome and uh, it looks like his teammates covering him pretty well there is a player back on towards his flag it's going to be a bit of a stalemate situation teammates there to assist him and just cover him out as he gets a nice kill there on swift he gets taken down from behind though luke is going to go through and that's going to be the first cap for the faction but nimble going to try and go for this counter cap and get the kill no he can't luke is going to take him down with a headshot blue also taking down foshy so the faction starting to turn up in, in terms of kills and this is, I think, the only part of the CTF that uh, Aftermath might struggle with. It's just the amount of kills that the faction can get in terms of any respawn game type. And uh, already two caps in front. It's, uh, it's really showing so far. Yeah, as you said, it's very hard, even for me, um, a younger player, to play against, like, TF because their reaction time is just insane. And it's very hard to outshoot them. They have very good shots and they play quite a lot they probably grind the game most out of any team that i've seen maybe along with x5 and then, yeah oh nice shots there by lakey as he gets the headshot but unable to follow up as foshi also chasing some kills and uh almost was able to get that kill from the player falling off the map didn't quite as he uh did get taken down swifty He's 9-3 at the moment. He's dominating 3KD. He's already got uh, two streak to his name. He's got the flag in hand, and it looks like he should be able to get back to Woods. His flag, only one player behind him, and uh, but he gets through. Lakey unable to get that kill in time. Lakey now going to grab that flag with the battle, which is a little bit interesting, but you just need whoever is closest to that flag to grab it, especially when you're 3-0 down. You just need to make those plays. Lakey's taken down blue, but the flag's yet again being taken by the faction, and Luca should be able to go through for this one if it gets returned but nimble taking down their flares there to try and stop it can't quite get it and another cap for the faction 4-0 and we thought aftermath would be uh, strong on this map being out of control spawns but you can't control spawns when you're not getting kills no this is going completely against what me and you thought originally um yeah as you said aftermath was not making their kills and you have to against a team like tf because that's basically all they rely on to win the game um, even in SND, they don't really rely on the plant. They just rely on getting those kills and outslaying the other team as much as possible. And yeah, if AM want to hope of getting back into this, they need to pick it up in the slang department and um, yeah, just pick up a few more kills each. And they c it is possible to come back, but it is it is very degrading being down 4-0 in the first half. It's still a minute to go. I mean, there could be another few caps from TF here, but if they can manage to get one or two caps back in this half against TF, um, then it's very possible for them to win the game. Yeah, I think if they can get one cap in this half in the next 50 seconds and then get the first cap of the second half, then their confidence will come, confidence will come back and they'll start picking up those kills. Obviously, the faction, their shots are just incredible. So, Aftermark just have to lift to that level. Foshi trying to get some shots. Teammate was able to take that kill, but he got dropped by Killer Pie as Flares now trying to work his way across underground into Dome. And only 29 seconds left. They need to make a play towards this flag. Nimble was able to take down a kill. Flares 
just trying to search for something. Foshy's going to jump on to grab that flag. Nimble's actually going to grab that one and run it light. Teammates actually over in dome, so not the way you want to pull it. Lakey's going to take that flag, though, gets dropped, and Swifty should be able to run this one in. There's players from up, up around him. Oh, he gets taken down. That 5 0 in favour of the faction, so that was uh, that is just a prominent performance from them. Yeah, right then in the end, you saw Swifty get the stump kill to cap a flag, which was a bit, it's a bit degraded, but yeah, I mean, if they can keep composed, anything's possible because half and half are actually on the bad side then, so they have good side now. Um, that's what I think from my player's perspective, the, they were on the bad side, but um. Yeah, it's going to be pretty hard to bring back 5-0. It's not impossible, but it's going to be very hard, especially if they're not making those kills. Yeah, well, we'll jump on board with Lakey. He is top scoring for Aftermath. Let's see if he continue with uh, what he's been doing. And uh, Swifty actually taking down Foshy very early. Nimble just waiting up top, waiting for someone to come through. Lights, he gets dropped. Shots go out. Lakey unable to pick up that kill, gets dropped as well. And the faction starting off well yet again in the slaying department, being able to control the map because of that. And now they're going to uh, push on towards this flag. And it just seems uh, the faction's map control just purely because they're getting so many kills, is uh, putting Aftermath off their game. Yeah, if you take a look at the scoreboard, 15-11 for Swifty, 14-11 for Fire, 12-9 Blue. Luca not getting as much kills, but getting a bit more kills than Foshy, who's on 6 and 13. Let's jump on board with Foshy for a bit to see if he can pick up a few kills. Let's see how he goes, but um, yeah. Yeah, Foshi has, uh, has been struggling a little bit today, it seems, but he does pick up a nice kill there on Swifties. His teammates can go grab that flag, push some shots out, get another one on Blue. Do get taken down by Luca there. Now Flair's going to try and take down Killer Pie as 6 0 at the moment. The faction actually got another cap there. So, Aftermath, it just doesn't seem like it's going to be their map at the moment. And uh, 3 minutes 35, it's almost impossible, especially with faction are playing and slaying this well they're uh they're gonna get through and that should be a really easy cap for swifty didn't get the kill though we got taken down by his teammate there it's killer pie and uh the flag's actually gonna be picked up by killer pie putting shots out gonna get the headshot there on flares pushing back towards the flag the flag has been taken by foshy foshy gets taken down and that should be returned and to make it seven oh no the flag is still there gets returned there six oh because the flags have been returned, but still, the more time the faction have the Aftermath flag, the more time is wasted for uh, Aftermath to try and come back in this game. Yeah, that's what uh, TF are basically trying to do on the side. They're just trying to waste down time, make it as stalemate as they can because they've, they're up 6-0. There's not really any need to rush for another flag. Um, it's bad side as well, so if you do get down, you yeah. spawn fairly far out and you're actually kind of trapped in dome. You know, they can just keep running the flag light, but uh, yeah, they're just wasting down time. They went for another flag there, wasn't successful. As Nimble picked up two kills and then Lakey picked up the third, but uh, yeah, no, I think this game is uh, pretty much over at the moment. Yeah, I feel like uh, Aftermath, they're just trying to get some momentum for the next map, which will be uh, an uplink on Biolab, but so far, uh, really, as we said, just the, the kills. They're just not getting them uh, when they need to. Lakey's going to pick up the double kill, though. He's 24 and 19, so he has been getting uh, getting a lot of kills with Foshi, 11, 19, 18, and 19 for Flares and Nimble. Just not able to keep up with the faction, the faction, their, uh, their map control, and their ability to just get the big kills when needed. They, they might be dropping just generally around the map, but when they've got that flag and when they're supporting the flag carrier, that's when they get the kills because their shots are just perfect and they know exactly where Aftermath are going to be coming from. They just predict those spawns so well, they know exactly where they're going to be. Foshi tries to get out of there, gets dropped. Flair's going to pick up that flag. Should be able to run one in. Gets stunned, though, gets taken down. Nimble going to try back. They didn't get that cap, got returned by the faction. And uh, that's never a good thing. You want to try and at least get a point on the board. That would have been a bit of a momentum boost. Like, oh, we got one back. We didn't get fully whitewashed. Get one back. That's always good to have in your mind that you've got a few flags back on the but It's very close. Um, players could have actually just jetted to the side then, but uh, I don't think you could see because of the stuns. 
as there's uh, casters glitch we can actually see when he's stunned and he can't see on his screen it's mostly full white so yeah he probably wouldn't have known where to go in that situation but as you can see 6 45 seconds to go it's all over it's actually impossible for aftermath to win so they're just going to have to keep their composure and move on to the next map really yeah i think i think they'll want to try and get at least one cap in here but they've got to push they've got to take down luke but lucas just grabbed the flag i believe uh, this will probably be a stalemate. Both teams just uh, kind of sitting back. Aftermath just don't want any more caps to go through. Lakey trying to push up, putting a lot of shots out, getting taken down by Killer Pie Flares. Is uh, right back with Nimble, just defending, and uh, I believe that's going to be the full-time score there. 6-0 in favour of the faction in the CTF, unless another kill goes down. No, Nimble's going to be able to take down Swifty there. Five seconds left, but moving on to the next map. It's going to be Uplink Biolab, and uh, that's a map that... Aftermath really didn't play well on against Orb. It's the only map they dropped. They won that series 3-1. So they did drop that map against Orb. And against a team like the Faction, I just don't see them. No, they're going to have to pick it up. They're definitely going to have to pick it up, especially in the kills department um, against Faction. They're losing to a uh, lower-class team like Orb in it. And now they're playing one of the best respawn teams our country has to offer. And that's going to be pretty hard on them. But... I'm not saying it's impossible, but if, yeah, it's not that likely. Yeah, well, uh, we will go to a quick break before that game, so uh, don't go anywhere, because coming up next, it's going to be the Faction versus Aftermath in Game 4. It's currently 2-1 to the Faction. Coming up is going to be Uplink on Biolab. <laughs> 